Hi friends, good morning, this is Abhishek from TechWires and in this video I am going to unbox and review the new ink tank printer from HP. Yes, HP has launched this new ink tank printer, the model number is Wireless 419. I got this today from Chroma store and it has costed me approximately 14,000 Indian rupees. And in this video I will be doing the unboxing, then reviewing and then I will tell you how you can set up this printer for the first time and also I will show some of the sample printouts from this printer and then I'll talk about the maintenance. Even I'll talk about like why did I choose this printer over Epson and Canon printers because they are also the good competitor for the ink tank printers. Alright so before unboxing let me tell you on the box they have mentioned that this is all in one printer it is a wireless printer and it has got five ink bottles like two black and white and three color. Now let me quickly unbox the device and show you like what all things are there inside. Alright, so these are the things which comes out of the box. The first thing is the printer itself and then we have two black ink bottles which is of 170 capacity which is actually the Excel size which they are giving for free with this printer. And then we have the cyan, then the yellow color bottle which is of 70 ml, like all three colors are of 70 ml. Then we have this magenta, this is also of 70 ml capacity. Then we have these two print heads which is really important part of the printer. Then we have these two cable, one is the USB cable and the second one is the power cable. Then we have this manual starter guide, then we have this installation guide, then we have the CD where we have the software for the printer, we can download from the internet as well. This is the reinstallation or repackaging instruction. Now let me do the unpacking of the printer and do the installation. So here you can see that I can do the installation myself and even if you want a uh, HP authorized person to come at your home and do the installation, they will do it for free. You just have to call the customer care and within 28 hours they'll come to your house and do the ins installation. But if you want to do it yourself, it's not very difficult, it's easy, I'll tell you a step by step instruction here how you have to do the uh, initial setup. So first thing remove all the plastic and then take out this color bottle like the first one you use the black one. So remember you have to fill the color first before switching on the printer. Make sure this is very important part you have to fill the tanks with the color then only switch on the printer. Alright so now you are seeing that I have opened the black color bottle and then I have to just open this particular slot in the ink tank and then I have to open the cap of the bottle so this is spill proof like it will not fall so don't worry you just have to remove the sticker inside and then pour the ink inside this tank. You just have to keep it like this and automatically color will start flowing. Don't press or don't squeeze the bottle because it will take some air or some other thing will happen. So it is recommended you don't have to press the bottle. It will automatically flow in. If it is not flowing, remove the bottle and put it again. So once or twice if you put, then automatically the color flow will happen. So this bottle is bigger than 70 ml capacity or the 80 ml capacity of the tank. So you just have to remove the bottle as soon as it reaches the maximum limit. And then close the cap and go to the next step that is filling up the different colors that is the cyan. So again you have to open this uh, tank's cover and then open your cyan color bottle sticker here and then put the cap, open it up, check if something is falling or not and then put it in the slot and automatically the color will start flowing. So similarly you have to follow the step for other two color bottles like uh, magenta and yellow. I'll skip the video and I'll move to the next step when we are done with the color filling. Alright so I've filled all the tanks with the color and now we have to install the print heads. So print head installation is very critical because print heads are the most expensive part of the printer. If print heads are corrupted you have to spend approximately 4000 rupees to replace the print head. So be very careful when you're installing the print head. First thing remove all the stickers like this and then open the slot and then remove this cardboard these are the cardboard just kept for uh, like transportation if you want to retransport this printer keep all those cardboards 
safely so that you have to reuse it when you want to transfer the printer from one location to another location all right remove all the cardboards and then you will see print head slot is on the left do not move it do not move to the center and install the print head it has to move automatically when you power on the printer for the first time all right so now i've connected the power cable and then i'll now switch on the printer for the first time as you see that as soon as you switch on the printer the print head slot will move to the right and then left and then again it will move to the center so uh, let me show you when it moves now you can see that print head slot has moved to the center and now I have to install the print heads so make sure that you are installing the right print heads in the right slot because there are only two slots right one is the black and white left one is the color you have to open it by putting it in the right hand side and then pressing it the blue one and then take out this plastic thing this you have to throw it out you don't have to use it again now once you're done with the step you have to install the print head so or remove the print heads from its cover uh, there are two print heads as I told you before black and color so this one is a black one and make sure don't touch the print head front portion this is sensitive and once you are done removing them from the plastic cover you just have to put it in the slot uh, like the holes should be on the outer side and then you have to press it it will give you a click sound and it will get into its right slot so this is the black one I'm putting it in and it will give a click sound it means the print heads are now installed at the right place now you need to close the slot by pressing the blue button and then close this door and close the external door as well so now you're done with the installation of the print head and the ink the next step is to get the printer calibrated for the first time you have to put a blank paper like normally a4 sheet you have to put it in the slot and set the uh, printer paper tracker like what is the size of the paper paper and then you have to press the first button on the right which is like information button so once you press this it will print out some calibration information it will check the colors it will check the uh, printing location everything it will do the calibration of the printer once the calibration is done it will ask you to calibrate your scanner you have to put the same paper inside the printer by putting it inside the scanner so put it like this and then you have to close this and then again you have to do a color scan so color scan button is on the left hand side so you have to press the color scan button now once you press the color scan button it will print out the same thing which we have just now printed but it will be like scanning and then printing the similar thing so here you can see that both things are looking similar but one is print out one is the scan and then print all right so I have now done the uh, installation of software on my laptop my desktop and in my mobile so like everything is connected wirelessly now so it's very easy you just have to click next 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 and the configuration of wireless printer will be done very easily now let me show you some of the uh, sample printouts with this printer and first let me print a black and white text uh, page which is like PDF file on my computer it's kind of story like just text nothing else other than the text I'm printing it let me see uh, how is the quality of the print when you're printing a text like a black and white text so I've hit the print button and it is going through a wireless medium and now it's printing here you can see that uh, printing speed is decent it's not uh, very fast or not very slow it's uh, and you can see the quality the quality is really good like the color or the text is very sharp uh, you can see the printing of uh, this particular printer is really good so you need to use a good paper like there are 70 GSM 75 GSM 85 GSM different kind of papers you get in market so if you're using better paper the quality of the print will be definitely better so here I'm using 75 GSM paper and um, that's really good and I can see that the print quality is coming really nice when I'm printing black color now uh, the next thing is uh, printing the uh, color text I'm not printing photo it's a color text and I'm using the normal paper in the normal paper I'll see how is the color printing comes out so I've given the print now it's printing let's see how is the print quality you can see the print speed is decent and yes it is printing nicely let me zoom and show you like after it prints both the pages so let me wait for the other page to come 
so here you can see that both the pages have been printed very nicely you can see the colors are vivid uh, there's no issues like the same thing which I can see on the PC uh, same thing it has printed so the color production or the color text are really good on this printer and also you can see that the small text are also printed very clearly there are no color spills here so that's really nice now we'll test the photo quality of this printer so here you can see that I've got codec photo papers these are high gloss paper and it's like 200 GSM quality like we get better quality than this as well so first let me try this 4 inch like uh, postcard size photo and uh, I will be giving print from my PC uh, here we have like a Windows application the default application we have to just click on print and then select the printer and then select the gloss paper like it's a high gloss paper select that high gloss paper and then hit the print button so make sure that you're selecting the right size of the paper otherwise it will not print so I've selected like right size and then here you can see that printing is done so I have like uh, fast forward the video it took approximately 45 seconds to print so here you can see that the quality is really nice like uh, the colors are very sharp and uh, it's like vivid you can see that the quality of the color photo printout is nice with this printer now let me try uh, some other thing uh, using like mobile I want to print something so as I told you before that we have to install application on the mobile to get this printing done so I've installed the HP application which is HP smart this is available both in Android and iOS so you don't have to worry like which phone you have and then you have to do a print you just have to go to the gallery and then hit share inside share you will get option of HP smart select that and then you have to select the printer the wireless printer which is connected so select that printer so this is 41 series 410 series that's 419 and check all the description like what is the size of paper what is the quality you want you want borderless or with border select all those things and then you have to go back and then hit the print button so once you hit the print button it will take some time like uh, 30 seconds to 45 seconds to print the photo so I press that and here you can see that photo is getting printed I'll fast forward the video again and then I'll show you how is the quality once the printing is done so here you can see that printing is done it took approximately 30 35 seconds and uh, this time also the print quality is really good but I can see that uh, the color is not vivid as I can see on the uh, mobile phone the colors are little uh, less vivid or little less uh, sharp you can say so it, it terms of color reproduction it is a bit lesser than what you see on your mobile phone but anyways the quality is good enough for this quality of printer this range like within 15,000 range you're getting this good quality of photo is really awesome now it's time to check the scanner of this printer how the color copy and the black and white copy works for this printer so first thing scanning with the mobile application you just have to click on scan and then it will automatically scan and then transfer the scanned image to your phone directly and once it is in your phone you can share it via email you can just download send it via whatsapp you can do anything so you can see this is quick and the quality of scanning is really good you can change the settings like high low medium quality of the scan so you can do that now the next thing is about doing the color Xerox or doing the black and white Xerox so put that thing whatever you want to Xerox and press color Xerox on the left hand side we have color Xerox and the right button the immediately right button is the black and white Xerox so here I have pressed the color Xerox so it will first scan and then it will print the colored image whichever is in the scan area so I have put that Kodak paper and it has got some plastic cover on it so it will uh, take that plastic cover image as well so you can see that the color Xerox is getting printed so here you can see that this is really nice and it was quick enough so when you're doing color Xerox it doesn't take much time and the quality is also good it's not good as the photo quality because I have used high quality there here this is normal quality on the normal paper now I'm using a black and white scan or black and white Xerox so as soon as I press the Xerox button it will scan it and then it will print the black and white uh, copy of the image or the photo which is kept on the scan area so you can see the uh, scan or the Xerox is really good 
and everything uh, was like uh, done very quickly all right now some important point that this printer needs to be maintained by printing at least one page in a week like if you don't print one page also in a week then the print heads might get jammed and then you have to spend lots of money to get them cleared or replace them so please print at least one page in a week now second thing when you are changing the color change with original color only the colors are very cheap like 500 rupees for black bottle and like 1500 rupees for all three color bottle so that's really cheap that will give you approximately 4000 printouts and for black and white it will give you around 1500 or 2000 printouts so that's really cheap so you should always use the uh, best or the original color refills now let me tell you why did I choose HP printer instead of Canon or Epson printers so at this price range like 14,000 or 13,500 price range this printer was the best quality printer if I go for Canon or Epson I'm not getting this kind of quality high quality printer in those two brands and the second thing the service of HP is far better than those two printers because every time whenever I've tried in past as well like within 24 to 48 hours I get a call back and get someone from HP to visit my home and then do some kind of fixing on the printer or any other HP devices so in terms of service HP is really good now the last point why did I choose HP is about the refill like the refill inks refill inks are quite cheap and we get the original refills very easily on HP website I have checked Canon and Epson like there are lots of duplicate uh, ink is floating in the market and we have to go to the website and availability is not that much as of HP so whenever I have to get a refill or another bottle of colors I have to just go to the HP website order it and within two days it will be delivered to your house so that's really good point of HP printer alright guys so this was my complete in detail review for HP 419 wireless ink tank printer I hope you liked it if you have any other question then please write in the comments below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video have a nice day bye bye